Hey everybody, it's AKG here with Crown Collective, and today I'm be showing you guys exactly how to mix your vocals so it can take your sound from this Girl, you're out in California. to this. Girl, you're out in California. Without making you guys wait any longer, I'm going to get right into it, and afterwards I'm going to show you two tips that are really going to make or break your vocals. It'll be two things that you want to start incorporating to each song, and something that you definitely don't want to miss, so stick to the end. The first effect that you're going to want to always do is you're going to want a compressor. If you don't have a compressor, your vocals are going to be too quiet, they're going to be too loud. You know, they're not going to be how you want them. So I've already created this preset, but I'm going to wait a sec so you guys can, uh, you know, go ahead and copy everything. This is just going to make your vocals, uh, it's going to compress them so uh, they don't go too loud, they're not too quiet, and they kind of stay in between a range. Um, that way they're not jumpy, like if you quiet down a little bit, you're not going to hear in the recording, and it's really going to improve the sound quality. So that's the first thing you want. Another thing that I like doing is I like putting a limiter, just a stock limiter, um, and after a while we'll play with the ceiling just to cut any uh, like loud noises, or like if you talk a little bit louder that the compressor doesn't catch. And I would always put those in the last two slots of your uh, of your mixer, because if you have in the front, then your effects might, uh, you know, yeah, it works in order. So the first thing you're going to want to do when it comes to this method is you're going to want to use pitcher. And a lot of people say like, oh, you need auto-tune, whatever. I have auto-tune, auto-tune pro. I have all that stuff. You really don't need it. You don't need to pay for it. Um, it does the exact same thing. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you uh, open this up is to make sure you get your scale. Uh, Oh, what scale is this? B major. So you can go ahead. You can put your beat in um, in TuneBat. You can put in a bunch of different websites that'll tell you the key and the BPM. And you want to make sure you set your project to the BPM, and you want to make sure you remember that pitch, so you can set your pitch to that pitch. Now. Girl, you're out in California. So even without doing anything to the picture, Girl, you're out in California. there's already a huge difference. Girl, you're so, out in um, what I like to do is I like to turn the speed Girl, down a little bit California. so it doesn't sound as robotic and you don't have so much of that sound. I like turning this uh, gender knob that's going to change the, um, like how pitched it is, kind of take it down a little bit. And the fine tune, if you turn it up Girl, all the way, you get a sound like that. That's not really what we're going for. So I like to actually turn it down a tiny bit so it does still leave some of that natural, uh, like, fluctuation in the vocals. Girl, you're out in California, so I'm making something for you. So for me, I'm going to put the speed right in between the fast and medium. I'm going to put the fine tune to a little over negative 20, and I'm happy with that. So the second effect we're going to add that's going to make a huge difference is an EQ. And what I'm going to do here is do steep 8, and actually, on. I'm going to do that. So it cuts, right click on it, go to type, and do high pass. That way it cuts out all your sub vocals if you leave Girl, this in. Okay, I was using a really good mic, but... Oftentimes you have a lot of sub left in there, a lot of bass frequencies, just things that you don't really want that are going to muddy it up. You want to cut those out, you want to leave room for the 808, and that's how, you know, you're not going to muddy up your mix. So you Girl, take out some of that bass. California, so I'm making something for you. And I'm seeing that the vocals, like, the low end is kind of getting to this line right here, so that's where I'm going to leave it at, because I don't want to cut it off. Cause I don't want it to sound like it's it's got like a high pass over it, you know. Girl, you're out in California. That's exactly where I'm gonna leave it. Girl, you're out in then I'm gonna boost the low end Girl, up a little you're bit. Out in California. I'm gonna take a little bit of the mids out, and this also really depends on everyone's sound. But I'm going for something that's like crispy. And uh, I'm cutting down some of these mids so it doesn't interfere with the beat and the guitar. And I'm going to be taking my, um, Girl, my higher frequencies. And I'm going to be boosting them a little bit. 
this love was true before ya Saw you in that red dress, only girl that's worth it Standing in your eyes, girl, your definition's perfect You tell me I'm perfect, am I really worth it? Singing from the heart now, hope this verse is perfect oh, I can't see clear, your love is the only man. So just like that, you're gonna kinda wanna listen to Like a good chunk of your vocals You're gonna wanna see like how low your vocals go Make sure you're not cutting anything off And just kinda play with it, get it to where you want But make sure you're not you know, cutting it off so it sounds like it's going through a telephone or some tiny speakers. You want to have a good balance. Don't try to hide behind your effects or hide behind the EQ. I see a lot of people doing that, and it just, it's its not what you should be doing. And the third thing I'm going to add, the third and final thing as far as effects, is going to be a little bit of reverb. And I'm not going to do really anything to this reverb. Girl, you're out in California. Just going to leave it like that and uh, just turn the wet knob a tiny bit. And so we just took our vocals from sounding like this Girl, you're out in California. to sound like this. Girl, you're out in California. So, I'm so what was that? That was like less than five minutes and you've gotten your vocals to sound Girl, like you're that. Out in California. It's really not that hard, everybody. Um, just the two tips that I'm gonna talk to you about now are what I mentioned previously in the video is don't just make sure it's simple you know there are other ways to get that like if you're looking for like a little peep reverb sound if you're looking for crazy delay there are other ways to do it without mudding up the track in the future i'm going to create some more videos kind of explaining that aspect of things but you really want to keep it as simple as you can because the more you add right onto the mix it's going to get muddier it's not going to sound clear and you don't want to do that like the second thing the second tip i'm gonna give you guys is it's all about your takes you know if you i have so many artists that send me uh, vocal stems where their vocals aren't on key you know they're messing up they're taking huge breaths just re-record it it'll take like 20 30 seconds to re-record that segment and you know your engineer will will thank you <laughs> and on top of that your vocals will, will go from like all right to sounding amazing so that's honestly the biggest thing. Make sure your vocal takes are as good as you can get them. And then your the, the final track will blow your mind. So thank you everybody for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Um, if you're looking for beats, go check out the description. If you're, you're looking for more tutorials, I'm going to be posting them soon. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. And uh, everyone have a good night. Have a good day wherever you're at. Peace. Girl, you're out in California, so I'm making something for ya. Girl, I really do adore ya. Never knew this love was true.